move in silence, okay? This is because when we express and tell people what it is that we're working on or what our plans are and what we're gonna do, you actually release, I can't remember what it's called, but you release a chemical, it's freaking get my eye. You release this chemical in your brain that simulates a similar sensation to you as actually having completed that thing. So the more you talk about what you're going to do, the more you feel, you get excited and it feels like it happens. And then sometimes you don't actually do it. Um, so there's that. The second thing is you don't really know who's who all the way. So I find that it's better to just get with yourself, get in your corner and just create, 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 and then like talk on occasion. But the more you share, oh, this is what I'm working on, this is what I wanna do, da 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 da, the more you can allow other people to influence you because some people might not really want the best for you. And then others might want the best for you, but they want their version of the best. And they know that when they try to step out on faith and live their dreams and do more or whatever, that it didn't work out. So then they get scared for you. And they're like, well, I want to save this person from this particular situation because I remember when it happened to me, how I felt. So I'm gonna try my best to make sure that this person doesn't do the thing that they want to do so that I can spare them from the pain and shame and whatever else that they could possibly get. Um, so all that to say, you don't have to hold everything to yourself and not tell anyone what you're working on, but those things that are new, those things that are still occurring, you probably shouldn't share. I've gotten to the point now where I'm really seeking to only share things once they've already happened. So like, a lot of you might already know I am an artist and so I do vend at festivals and things like that but I never post like where I'm gonna be it's just it's just the thing I do I prefer to just pop up and you know show out and have that experience and take pictures and let them know I was there rather than I'm gonna be there but I just kind of do that in life in general now so once I make hit a milestone like I recently just got to 500 subscribers whoop, whoop, whoop. once I reach a milestone then I'll share it and it's at the point now where it's becoming less and less about who it is because I my circle is about like this small at the moment um but I just noticed that I have more successes when I just like put my blinders on and just keep going and just keep creating and just keep being consistent and just keep showing up every single day because the only way to get to where I want to be is if I show up. And what I've also learned is that when I show up, the universe shows up too. But it's basically like, think about it like this. When you ask the universe to do something for you or God to do something for you and you don't even try to, to show up, you're basically standing up your date with the universe. You're basically saying like, hey, <laughs> this is what I want. And then your date is like, okay, great. The universe is like, I'm going to line this up. I'm going to line this up. I'm going to listen. And all you have to do is get dressed, you know, take a shower, whatever, get dressed and meet me at this restaurant at seven o'clock PM. And your date is going to be there. Right. But a lot of us, are not even showing up to the date. So you get the universe hopes all up. You you got the universe dressed up in its best suit and tie, looking looking just dapper than an MF with a nice watch, hair, cloth, body just, uh, you know, older gentleman uh, waiting for you. And you don't even show up. And then you have the nerve to call back and say, well, you know what? Sorry, I, um, I just didn't, I wasn't able to make it. But how about we try it again? And the universe is like, mm -hmm, okay, Mr. Universe, that's what we'll call it. Mr. Universe is like, okay, whatever, it's fine. You know, things happen, so I'm gonna show up again. But this time, I'm not gonna take you to the really, really nice restaurant. I'm gonna take you to the okay place, but I'll be there, meet me next week at seven. Boom, next week at seven comes, and you still don't show up. And then you don't have nobody to get mad at but yourself, because at that point, you done stood Mr. Universe up twice. So you're lucky if Mr. Universe will show up for you a third time. So that's how the universe, I feel, also works. When we say, hey, universe, I'm going to do, or hey, I'm going to go to the gym seven days a week, right? And you don't even show up to go one day a week. Why would the universe show up for you then? Oh, I, I, I should have a YouTube channel. I got so much to say, but you don't even record a video to post. Why would the universe show up for you? You don't even show up. You don't even come to the date. 
the only way at that point that Mr. Universe is going to show for you is if you do something extravagant. If you're like, listen, I apologize. Look, I set up the date and you, and the Mr. Universe still might not show up at that point. But then another Mr. Universe will come into your way and then you do right by that, by that Mr. Universe, and then you'll get everything that you want. But you can't just expect the universe to show up for you when you keep canceling plans. When you don't keep your word to yourself, when you don't show up, no one is going to show up for you because you have set the bar so low that you don't even respect yourself enough to keep your promises to yourself. So why would anybody around you treat you better than you treat yourself? Why would anybody around you show up for you when you can't even show up for yourself? Why would anyone around you respect you when you don't respect your own self? Why would anybody take you out when you don't take your own self out? Why would anybody take you seriously when you don't even take yourself seriously enough to keep your word to yourself? And to be quite frank, if you wouldn't keep your word to yourself, how should I believe that you would keep your word to me? You don't even respect yourself enough to show up. So you can't respect anyone else, you know? And it doesn't make you bad for doing that. It just means that perhaps you lived a traumatized life with people who were lower vibrational beings who were jealous and hated themselves. And so they taught you how to be disrespectful to yourself as well. But you don't have to stay there. You can find ways to improve. There's my channel, there's channels galore. Everywhere you look, we're in the world of technology and space and opportunity. The only thing that's stopping you from you and showing up to date Mr. Universe is you actually keeping your word to yourself and doing it. Yes, it is easier said than done, but as Jim Ron says, anything that you are capable of doing is easy. And after a while, it will become a habit, but just get used to showing up for yourself. How dare you ask anybody to do something for you when you can't even keep a basic commitment to yourself. Focus on that first and then everything else will be easier. Once you have shown up for yourself, once you have the confidence to know that I, when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. When I put my mind to something, I get it done. When you have the confidence and you know that you are the type of person to do that, then the world will show up for you because you have shown up for it. And once Mr. Universe makes you his woman, once Mr. Universe really pulls up on you, the universe will shower you with so many things because you have now earned it. You have now shown up. You've made the effort. You're putting in time. You're putting in attention. And the universe will ball the F out and give you more than you could have ever bargained for. But at the same time, if you F up, Mr. Universe is crazy. Mr. Universe is like dealing with a prolific mob boss who when they love you, they love you hard. But when you F up, you you might end up swimming with the fishes up a river or something. So just make sure you show up for yourself. Focus on yourself. Be selfish. Be self-love is not selfish, okay? But if you can't show up for your own self, you better not go around asking the universe for anything because you might end up getting effed up, period.